Hey YouTube, in this video we're going to be doing an overview on a couple of things regarding running DeepSeek. So the DeepSeek AI model using LM Studio on your local PC. So the benefit of doing this is you can leverage the AI locally on your desktop or specific laptops provided you have the hardware. We're going to go over that. This way all of your data is local to your PC. It's not up in the cloud somewhere. There is a really good post on the AMD community page on how to get this running DeepSeek R1 distilled reasoning models. So the reasoning models are very unique in that they show the thought process. So it's rather than when you ask the AI something and then it just returns an answer, you don't actually get to see the steps in how it deduced that answer. Whereas these reasoning models from DeepSeek actually show the thought process. So it's quite fascinating to see how it thinks. And I've been playing around with it myself and I found that it's rather interesting when you use multiple graphics cards. So we're gonna be showing how it differs when you use two graphics cards because I wasn't even aware that having multiple graphics cards allows the model to just scale across them. Uh, but I just so happened to have two graphics cards in this PC and I started using the DeepSeek model and I noticed that it was thinking a lot more about the prompt. And when I look at my task manager, it's using, sure enough, multiple graphics cards. So we will look into that here. You need to have the following hardware. So you either need to have a AMD Ryzen AI Max processor. So this is Strix Halo for those of you that are enthusiasts. This can do 32, 64, or 128 gigabytes of system memory. This is unified memory. And you can run the really big... 70 billion parameter deep seek distill reasoning model which is quite good but that requires that you have a strix halo so for most people you're either going to be using a radeon graphics card or you're just simply going to be using one of the strix point laptops or one of the uh, hawk point laptops from last year so those can run the 14 billion parameter model which is the one that most people are probably going to use if you have a GPU, however, and you're on a desktop platform, like in this case, me, I'm going to be showcasing how to use this with a AMD Radeon RX 7900 XTX. So for this, we can run the 32 billion one. So it's mm, not the largest one, but it is a very large model. So the larger the model, the more VRAM it requires to run, and it will all offer superior reasoning capability. So the first thing you want to do you want to make sure you download or you upgrade your Radeon driver to the latest beta driver. So as of the time of filming, that would be 25.1.1. So that is the 2025 January driver. So that is that one. You can get that from the link here. So you'd go to this page on AMD's site and you'll just download the driver from this link here. So that's step one. Step two is to download LM Studio version 0.3.8 or above from this link for the Ryzen AI. So that takes you to this website here. You would just download LM Studio and then you would install that. So step three is you install that. Skip the onboarding process screen. So that's going to bring up something that looks like this. And then here you can click on discover and then you can download various different models here. So in this case, I downloaded the DeepSeek R1 Distill Quen 32 billion because that is the one that is listed here for the, it is the recommended maximum supported for the 7900 XTX. So that's the one that we're going to be demoing here. So you would download that. So I've already downloaded that. And then when you download them, you want to make sure in here you select the Q4KM. So make sure it's Q4KM if you're downloading a particular model that uh, that it's recommended here. It says that in step six on the right hand side, make sure the Q4KM quantization is selected and click download. So then once that's downloaded, then you are going to go back to the chat tab here and then you're going to load it but you want to make sure that the GPU offload is maxed out. So you're going to max out the slider here all the way to the right. That way, the AI model will run using the GPU 
in your desktop rather than trying to run it off of like CPU cores, which are going to be really, really slow. So the nice thing about this is, as we'll see, it actually leverages two graphics cards. So in this case, I have a Radeon 7900 XTX and an Intel Arc B580. So the B580 is actually rendering the recording that I'm doing right now. So we can see if I go to, I think it's video decode. Yeah, so it is actually recording the video right now using the uh, quick sync video encoder for HEVC on the Intel Arc GPU. So once that's up and loaded here, so we did, we offloaded it, that was step eight. So step nine, we load the model. So here you would load, in this case, I've already loaded it. And then step 10, interact with the reasoning model. So now I can ask it something like, what is the fastest AMD GPU? So that's gonna load. And what I wanna show you guys here is, we'll have task manager. So it's thinking about the, the answer. And you'll notice that here it's using the compute on the Radeon graphics card, but it's also using the compute on the second graphics card, in this case, the Intel B580. So both GPUs are actually being leveraged by the AI model to think through the steps. And what I've noticed is if you, only, if you have one GPU, it doesn't do as much reasoning, like it, it still does this, but it doesn't do as deep in terms of thinking. It doesn't think as deeply about how it's going to respond. So this thinking process actually takes longer when you have multiple graphics cards because I don't know why it takes longer. I guess it's leveraging the greater VRAM pool that it has access to because in this case it has 24 gigabytes from the 7900 XTX and then it has... 12 gigabytes additional from the Intel Arc B580. So here you can see it came up with a very interesting answer, which I did not expect it to come up with, but it said here, the fastest AMD GPU depends on your intended use case. So it says for gaming and consumer use, the 7900 XTX is the top consumer GPU from AMD, featuring RDNA 3, blah, 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 24 gigabytes of memory. And then for professional use, the Radeon Pro WX9400 is designed. So it, it actually, I was not expecting it to give me a two answers, like a consumer GPU and a professional GPU. Now, technically, it's wrong with the professional GPU. Technically, the correct answer would be like the W7900, I believe, which has like 48 gigabytes of VRAM. Um, but, you know, it's interesting that it came up with two. I don't know why, what what caused the thinking process? See, the thing is, if you want to understand why it came up with the workstation answer, it kind of, like, thought about it somewhere in here. But if someone is into professional work, the pro might be a better solution. So what's cool about this LLM, the DeepSeek model, you can actually see the reasoning process, like the behind the scenes in how it works. And it, what's fascinating is that it actually leverages your entire VRAM pool if you max out that slider. So if you're someone who has, for example, like multiple graphics cards, I would probably recommend having multiple of the exact same graphics card because I think the the time it took to think through this was 51 seconds. And I think part of that might have been because the Intel GPU is a, quite a bit slower than the 7900 XTX. So that kind of pulled it back, but it was able to leverage the additional VRAM. So it was able to think more deeply about how it's going to respond with an answer. So just something that I found interesting, worth mentioning for those of you that are working on AI projects or you're playing around with these AI tools and you're trying to understand how it works and how to optimize. If you're someone who's working on a model, for example, if you're doing inferencing and you're trying to further tune the model. Just something to be aware of. It seems like some of these can scale across multiple graphics cards. And what's even more interesting is that it scales across multiple vendor graphics cards. Now, I don't know how that affects it, but I wasn't expecting it to use my Intel Arc GPU, and it did. So I found that quite fascinating. So anyway, guys, that was a quick video on how to use the LM Studio with the DeepSeek model on 
Ryzen AI or Radeon hardware. So if you have a Ryzen laptop that has either the HX 300 series or the Ryzen AI 300 series or Ryzen AI Max, any of those can also use this without needing a Radeon discrete graphics card. But for most people that are wanting to run this on desktop or on a home server with a lot of system RAM and possibly multiple GPUs, you would go the Radeon route. So hope this video was useful and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks.